Hello, my name is Jonas and I'm Customer Happiness Manager at TrackDeck. In this video, I'm going to talk about visitor's feedback and how it works. So, you may have noticed that on our website we have this little button over here. This is visitor's feedback. It lets any person who comes to our website to leave feedback, mark issues and write comments. And it's really great because with TrackDeck you can not only get feedback from your designers, web developers and project managers, but from your website visitors as well. So, to turn on visitor's feedback, all you need to do is to navigate to your project settings, installation, and insert this JavaScript uh, before your closing body tags. After that, you need to navigate to visitor's feedback and turn it on. You can customize feedback button according to your needs. So, for example, you can change the place in which the feedback button appears. You can change the text which appears when you hover over feedback button. So, you can type in any text you want. You can also change the color. So, for example, if I go to next close, they turn the button blue and change the text which appears. If I go to start of house, the button is on the other side. You can also assign custom element ID and change how the feedback button looks altogether. So, for example, if I go to maxima, they change it into this shiny thing. Uh, you can also opt in users to leave their email addresses. So, for example, if I go to trackdeck.com and try to leave feedback without my email, it won't let me to do that. You can also enable users to leave file attachments. It's up to 4 megabytes. You can change the visitor's feedback button user interface language as well. There are two ways to do that. First of all, you can leave it to TrackDuck, as it will take the default browser language that the user is using. If it's gonna be one of our supported languages, the button will change automatically. The second option is to include a custom attribute in our JavaScript code. We're gonna find custom attribute and link to our help desk article in video description below. You can also change the text which appears when you click on the visitor's feedback button. So for example, if I go to start with house and click on visitor's feedback button, it says click and hold mouse button then drag to select an area. You can change this text as well, there's attribute for that. And you're gonna find the attribute and link to our help desk article in video description below. And if you still have any questions, you can contact us via this yellow button over here. Uh, just click on it and start new conversation with us. We reply as soon as we can. And yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. Bye.